<laughs> you gotta put it down, bud. Down a little bit. There you go. You gotta go poop. Come on. Stop recording if I go poop. You're super antsy, I know. It's okay. It's okay. And plan on taking alternate routes if you're headed in that area because of the lake closures. It's 57. Get us out the door with the weather forecast. Well, the sun is coming up in just about three minutes. 7 a.m. is its official sunrise, but we are starting off not that bad. A couple of 40s to over 50, so it's not super cold outside. We have a fairly quiet for the most part. Really Good job, buddy. Because we do have a little bit of rain in parts of the Finger Lake, a couple of showers up in Jefferson County. So, We'll have some of these white scattered showers. We've resigned ourselves. Mostly cloudy, but not a rainy day. Highs near 70. Towards the night, we will keep these mild, the same showers going to the 60s. A very warm day tomorrow. Highs around 80. Muggy with rain and thunderstorms. Wednesday, we start mild around 70. Around midnight, but during the day, we're actually. Come on. Come on, Grace. Good job. Buddy. I know. See, we turn into a statue. We're working on it. All right, let's see if I get him to move. So I've got to head out to work in like eight, nine minutes or so. So I'm going to put on the collar and hope for the best. That way we can sit with it for a little bit. Hey, bud. All right, can't guarantee what kind of shot we're gonna get, guys. <laughs> Actually, I did wanna show you what I like about this is I have one of his extra collars threaded through. So, because corgis have weird shaped necks, he can get a lot of things off, but he can't usually pull his collar off. So once I hook it, he shouldn't be able to rip it off his head. Not without some major um, effort, I guess. So let's get that attached. All right, I've got like six minutes before I gotta leave for work, so we're gonna put the inflatable collar on. I'm, yeah, see that look of thrill? Take this one off. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's see. Right, so we're trussed up. <laughs> Not very happy about it. So I'm going to move him to the bed before I go so at least he's on something comfy. Hopefully he doesn't walk around too much today. So it'd be better if I wasn't getting the stink eye. Yeah. But with that on, I don't think there's any way he's going to be able to reach that leg. So day three of recovery. Day one of being left alone. I'm going to try to get home around lunchtime. <sighs> All right. Love you, baby. Okay, just walked in. I came home for lunch real quick. No, 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 no. Well, that didn't work. Back up, buddy. Back up. I know you heard me, honey. And he met me at the door. Okay. Okay. Good job, buddy. All right. So, we got him out. 
he was up at the door, so I can't help that. But now I got to get him back in the house, give him his pain meds, and go back to work. Got to get away from the door, buddy. Okay, it's really dark. It's end of day three of recovery. Fergus is again in bed with me now that you can see it because it's pitch dark. Um, see how day four goes. Night.